Jamison Crowder is one of the most consistent wide receivers in the NFL. Since entering the league in 2015, Crowder has been a constant source of production for the teams he's played for. Yet, he doesn't receive a lot of attention, but he should. Crowder is a high-level wideout with an impressive underdog story. Hailing from Monroe, North Carolina, Crowder had an extremely decorated career at his local high school. However, this didn't quite translate to recruiting hype. 24-7 Sports ranked Crowder as a two-star prospect, and he only received a few lower-level Power 5 offers. Ultimately, Crowder decided to remain in-state and attend Duke University. And Crowder saw playing time right away at Duke. After picking up 14 catches as a true freshman, Crowder really blossomed as a sophomore, finishing the year with 76 receptions for over 1,000 yards and 8 touchdowns. His junior campaign was next level, as Crowder set an ACC record for 108 catches for nearly 1,400 yards. After another strong year as a senior, Crowder concluded his career in Durham as the school's all-time leader in receptions. But again, this exceptional production did not translate to elite status as an NFL prospect. Washington ended up choosing Crowder in the fourth round, 105th overall, in the 2015 draft. And this gets to the elephant in the room, Crowder's size. Coming in at just about 5'9", 177 pounds, Crowder's small frame and restriction to the slot has lowered his perception for years. But all that is misguided, as Crowder exceeds in his role with what he's got. As a rookie, Crowder broke Washington's record for the most receptions by a rookie, as he concluded his debut campaign with 59 receptions for 604 yards and 2 touchdowns. Crowder took his play up a notch in his second year, finishing the season with 67 receptions for 847 yards and 7 touchdowns. He matched a similar level of production for his next season. Unfortunately, an injury cut his 2018 season short, and the squad in DC opted to let him walk in free agency. Ultimately, in March of 2019, Crowder ended up signing a three-year $28.5 million contract with the New York Jets. While many questioned his decision to sign with the Jets, with many also questioned New York's choice in offering a sizable contract to a slot receiver, the move has seemed to work out tremendously for both parties. Crowder enjoyed his best statistical season last year, ending up with 78 catches for 833 receiving yards and 6 touchdowns. And the error only seems to be pointing up for Crowder and the Big Apple. Check this out. Crowder had the 4th most slot receptions for a wideout out of anybody in the NFL last season. Moreover, Crowder is one of only 7 players to have a target share of over 30% over the last month of the 2019 season. Pair this with the great amount of work that Crowder's been putting in with Sam Darnold this offseason, and it's hard not to buy into the Crowder hype. But let's look a little further at what makes Crowder so good by assembling a brief scouting report for him. He's certainly not a conventional big outside receiver, but that does not mean that Crowder isn't super valuable. He's a fabulous route runner that uses exceptional short area quickness to consistently get open. The combination of smarts, feel, and quickness make Crowder a tough cover. Jamison also owns a strong pair of hands and plays more physically than you might imagine. Crowder is willing to make difficult receptions in traffic and works hard as a blocker and run after the catch player. He also has a knack to get open in the red zone and find the end zone, which is quite important and rare for someone of his size. But just speaking from a more general perspective, Crowder is simply one of the best slot receivers in the NFL. That statement should not be up for debate, as both the stats and eye test suggest that Crowder is an elite player at his position. Finally, I think that now is the ideal time to buy stock in Crowder's career. He's still young, he just turned 27 a few days ago, and should have a few more years of his prime left. Also, the Jets don't have that bad of an offensive setup. The team heavily invested in their offensive line over the offseason, and Sam Darnold should look better in his third year and without having to deal with an unexpected absence at the beginning of the season. The time is now for Crowder to show his worth and to garner the respect that his play deserves. And that'll do it for this one. Share the video with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Comment, what are your thoughts on Jameson Crowder, who is the most underrated wide receiver in the NFL? Finally, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Thank you.